गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल आई एम पूर्वी केशन्या एंड आई एम फ्रॉम श्री वैष्णव विद्यापीठ विश्वविद्यालय एंड माई ब्रांच इज फॉरेंसिक साइंस एंड टूडे आई एम प्रेजेंटिंग हियर साइबर टेररिज्म सो फर्स्ट हिस्ट्री ऑफ द साइबर टेररिज्म साइबर टेररिज्म द पर्टिकुलर टर्म टेररिज्म कम्स फ्रॉम द फ्रेंच वर्ड टेररिज्म एंड दिस इज बेस्ड ऑन टेरर मीन्स कॉज टू ट्रिम्बल एंड दिस टेररिज्म is firstly coined by Barry C Collin in 1996 now the cyber terrorism what do you understand by cyber terrorism cyber terrorism involved with the using of computer and related technology with the intention of causing harm and damage in a civilian population or influence policy of targeted governments or cyber terrorist is a criminal who using the computer technology and the internet especially to cause fear and disruption now there are four different cyber crimes which comes under the cyber terrorism so cyber extortion cyber vandalism cyber hate and cyber harassment first is cyber extortion cyber extortion is a crime involving an attack or the threat of the attack against the enterprise means they focused on the big companies uh, to getting the advantages or benefits by demanding the money the, now the second is cyber vandalism cyber vandalism includes the addition removal and other modification of the text that is either humorous or non sensual now the cyber hate cyber hate is refers to the use of electronic communication technology to spread racist they try to use the electronic technology and spreading racist now the cyber harassment that particular term harassment which is done with the help of electronic means or cyber harassment is also known as cyber bullying now the feature of cyber terrorism so there are the five things i mention here first is difficulty identifying attackers yes there is difficult to identify the initiator who initiate that particular crime now the second is lack of boundary yeah lack of boundary means the particular crime is done all over the world not a particular area or particular city now the speed of development as we know that very frequently developed the technologies and different techniques different tools so its speed of development is comes under the feature of the cyber terrorism low cost of tool this is the fourth point to so low low cost of tool is become very easy to use widely available simple to use in ex- expensive now the fifth one is automated method the method of attack have become automated and more sophisticated resulting in greater damage for a single attack now the strategy of cyber terrorism hacking into the computer system introducing virus to the vulnerable network website defacing dos attack and terroristic threat made via the email now the tool for cyber terrorism so there are the three tool i mention here physical attack electronic attack and cyber attack or computer network attack so the physical attack accomplishment by using of conventional weapons to destroy the particular computer or the targeted device now the electronic attack in this attack the particular person or the criminal who using the power of electronic energies and electromagnetic pulses now the cyber attack cyber attack is using of a malicious code to take advantages of the software's weakness now the three most common attacks methods first is ip spoofing password cracking and dos first is ip spoofing ip spoofing is created of ip pack with forged source of ip address with the purpose of concealing the identity of senders the, that particular ip spoofing is mostly used in dos attack actually so the ip spoofing is forged ip address they try to 
they try to getting the identity of the sender and they try to hide ip address now the password cracking password cracking can be implemented using brute force attack trojan horse program and ip spoofing this three main thing which is used to crack the particular password which is brute force attack trojan horse attack which is very famous and ip spoofing now the dos attack what do you understand by the dos attack denial of service that the dos is stands for denial of service this attack is focused on the making a service unavailable to the intended user the particular intended user they try to unavailable service they try to unavailable service for the intended user or the particular user now the form of cyber terrorism there are four different forms i mention here unauthorized access hacking trojan horse virus and worm attack and email related crimes now the punishment for cyber terrorism according to the ipc and it act so first i explain you it act according to it act okay so section 66f or of the it act is prescribe punishment for cyber attack whoever who try to intend or the threaten the unity integrity security of the india and the government they are punished under the 66f okay now second thing is according to the ipc okay so there is no provision in ipc that mirror section 66f of the it act though section 1 to 1 of the ipc wagging attempting to wage wars and abetting wagging of war against the compute uh, government of india does cover the offense partially actually okay now how can we prevent cyber terrorism prevention is a key to reducing the risk of data breach so we have to use the good softwares and using vpn and also aware common attacks methods and you also keep private our data so this is the key of prevention thank you so much